Hello and welcome. In less than no time, I'll be showing you how to create talking NPCs in Unturned. Yes, number one, the audio is supersided, so other players around the NPC can hear it. However, the audio is configurable for how far and loud other players will hear it. Number two, once it starts, it cannot be stopped, so don't make your voice lines too long. And the third is the voice lines are spammable. Hello and welcome. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, for our setup, you're going to need Unity version 2018.4 with the unturned example assets and tools already imported. If you don't have the setup, there will be a tutorial video in the description for it. Secondly, basic knowledge of how to create the NPC. For the tutorial, I will be showing you the setup of the NPC. However, I do recommend it if you don't fully understand what I'm going to do. Have a watch through a tutorial series by The Gaming 4 on how to create them. That is also linked in the description as well. Thirdly, some sort of audio editing program that exports .ogg audio files. I'll be using Audacity for this. Fourthly, this is optional, but I recommend using Notepad++ to make .dat files uh, more organized and easier to edit. So of course to begin, we are going to start with a uh, we're going to start within the map files. So within this map, this is going to be the specific map I'm going to use to test the NPC. And within here, I've created a folder that's called bundles. And within bundles, I've created two more folders that are called NPCs and objects. NPCs is obviously for the NPC that we're going to interact with, and objects is actually what's going to be used to create the audio that you're going to listen to. So. Within NPCs, of course, if you've made NPCs before, you will recognize this kind of setup. Within the characters, I have created a tutorial character underscore main. This is what we're going to be using to build and test our audio. The intro is from the, the NPC that you saw in the, uh, in the intro sequence. So within here, uh, we've got assets in English and all the basic stuff. Within Notepad++, I've already opened up everything. So here's our character with a pre-made GeoID. Uh, an ID uh, and a dialogue ID that is linked as well to uh, the dialogue that I've already pre-created. Uh, within the English version of the character, we've just named it the Life RP Introduction and the server introduce you. And this basically NPC is going to be is a, an NPC that introduces you to a Life RP server. It's like the first thing that players will see when they join the server. Um, and within the dialogue, we've just got uh, four messages set up. Uh, the message, the initial message, which is just hello and welcome. Uh, and then our response is things like, uh, what are the rules and where can I find the Discord link? And then just something as simple as like goodbye or, or close or whatever you want to make it. So this is what we have set up so far. And we are going to implement the uh, conditions uh, that we need for the, um, for the dialogue to work. So before we actually record anything, we're going to make it easier on ourselves by setting up the NPC beforehand before recording uh, and implementing anything else into Unity and all that stuff. So to begin, we're going to just start off with the messages. Uh, underneath uh, messages and messages underscore zero pages one, we're just going to create a little space. And uh, I'm going to put this in the description, but basically you want to copy and paste this. So these IDs, uh, these are going to be the IDs of your uh, object that is going to be of the dialogue that you use. So for this example, I'm going to take the ID of the dialogue itself just increment it by one so that will be the initial intro dialogue id so take note of that so we'll just put here uh, intro dialogue id uh, like so just to put ourselves as a reminder and then for our responses we're going to paste the same thing again except we're going to make two changes uh, we're going to name this response instead of message we're going to change that to response Change all of these like so. And that will be for the first response, which is just where are the rules. Uh, we're going to change the ID by an increment of one. So this will be the ID for the first response. So I'm going to call this response one dialog ID uh, oh, uh, four, five, seven. Zero, eight, one like so uh, and I guess we'll just copy paste this and I'll make the second response uh, four five seven eight two so 
four five seven eight one is going to be for where the rules and the second one is going to be for the discord link so to create the uh, second responses uh, conditions we will just need to copy and paste this put one more down and just change this to uh, one like so so that will be for our second dialogue uh, that we're going to implement so in its current state, we are finished. We don't really need to touch the NPC anymore. Uh, and, this, and at this point, we can safely just save our work and close Notepad for now. Uh, now we're gonna move on to creating the audio for our NPCs and then implementing it into Unity and such. Right, so... To get started with uh, recording our voice lines for our NPC, we don't really need to do too much planning. All we need is uh, Audacity opened up in the background and our uh, English.dat file opened up in the foreground. Now we're only recording three lines uh, and that will be of course for our intro sequence uh, when the NPC greets you. It'll be something quite simple as just hello and welcome to our life or peace server for example sake. Uh, for the uh, first response, that'll be uh, what the rules are. We'll list some basic ones, but we're not going to list all of them. And the second one will just be, you know, what's the Discord link? And I think for that one, I'll just say, hey, you can do uh, the command slash Discord, and I'll give you it. Um, for goodbye, we're not going to, of course, we're not going to actually, um, we're not going to give that a, a voice line, because that's just a, a something that you click, and that's your response, basically. So we've got things uh, down in our notes here. We know we know what the IDs are that we're going to assign to them. So all we need to do is quickly put that off to a uh, side screen. We're just going to record our first line and that's going to be just hello and welcome to our life of user. So make sure that you have your microphone uh, set up. Mine's the line in one. And we're just going to start. Hello and welcome to our life RP server. And it's that simple. And of course, my microphone roll is very quiet. If I play it, you won't really hear much. Hello and welcome to our life RP server. That's not very good. So let's clean it up a little bit. I'm going to select it completely. We're going to amplify it first. Now, if we play it, this is what it's going to sound like. Oh, I can... Hello and welcome to our life RP server. Yeah, it's a little bit messy and we kind of want to clear that up. So what we can do is we can, where there's no uh, speaking, it's just, it's just noise. We can real quick go effect, go noise reduction. We're going to get a noise profile. This is just to kind of give the, the problem an idea of what the noise is that it needs to isolate. So we're going to select that. And we're going to select the full audio again. Uh, go effect, noise reduction. Kind of just click preview and fiddle around with the settings until it sounds how you want it to. Hello and welcome to our life RP server. Okay, that sounds a little bit too compressed. So let's maybe uh, bring down the noise reduction. Hello and welcome to our life RP server. Right. Now, of course, it is uh, being played in game by an object, so we don't need to fiddle around with this too much. And uh, for example's sake, I'm not going to try and make this too advanced. So for this sake, we're just going to apply that effect. Hello and welcome to our life RP server. And I think that should be more than enough for now. So to export it, we're going to go uh, just file, export. Uh, we want the OGG format. Let's just name it uh, welcome. The, uh, welcome, welcome voice line. There we go. So we'll save that. Artist name, doesn't matter. Uh, this doesn't really matter. We click OK. And what you're going to do is you're going to repeat that uh, twice. So you're going to do it uh, once more. Sorry. You're going to do it once more for the where are rules and whatever you want to see. And then our Discord link. So I'm just going to real quick make those. Right, now we're gonna start importing our voice lines into Unity so that we can make them work in game. Uh, of course, for the tutorial, I did say that we we're gonna be using uh, Unity version 28.4. Uh, well, whatever, <laughs> really, after that, I'm gonna be using 32F1, uh, but it really doesn't matter too much. Um, within the assets folder that have already been set up when we were to import all of our uh, uh, prefabs and things like that. I've created a folder that's just called Talking NPC Objects. Now, of course, I've got some previous ones in here. Uh, these two are from the beginning of the video, and the rest were just some, you know, some fiddling and testing around. So in here, we're going to create a new uh, little folder. 
I'm gonna call that server introducer underscore welcome. Uh, and that'll be uh, where we store our files that we're gonna use for just the welcome part of our, uh, of our audio. So real quick, I just need to grab our audio files that we're gonna be using today. So in here, uh, we've got our three audio files that we're going to be using. Um, since this is the welcome, we're going to be putting the welcome, welcome voice line in here. Uh, and we're going to create two more. So let's create another folder. I'm going to call that server underscore introduce or server introduce underscore uh, rules. Right again, folder. Uh, and this one is going to be called um, Discord, I guess. So we've got server introdu introducer underscore discord, server introducer underscore rules, and the welcoming. So in the uh, introducing of the rules, we're gonna drag our uh, rules voice line that we created uh, from here. And then of course, in the talking objects, we go back to the, uh, the discord one, uh, and drag that in here as well. Once we have that done, uh, we're going to go back up to assets. We're going to search in here cooler. We've got one that's from objects, uh, models, and we want to go from the uh, core master bundle. We're going to go from the core master bundle. Uh, and inside here, I can. There we go. We are trying to look for uh, this. Well, we're going to drag this up into our scene here. There it is. This is a cooler, uh, uh, a cooler, and we're going to be using this uh, as our object to emit sound. Um, let's go back to our folder. I'm going to go back to the welcome one. So in here, um, actually, sorry, uh, in the hierarchy, I'm going to select a little with Control, right click, unpack prefab completely, uh, and then we're going to click on clip. We're going to drag this down. I'm going to delete all of these little objects that are within here. So the alive with an object, the editor and the ragdolls. Once we're done on that, we're going to click on object uh, and we're going to delete the LOD group component and the rigid body component. With a nav, we're going to keep what's here and with a clip, we're going to keep what's in here. So we're going to go back to object real quick uh, and we're going to add a component. We're going to add an audio source. We are going to then drag uh, and then drag our audio onto here. Uh, we're going to turn Special Blend to 3D uh, and we're going to turn our volumetrical off to linear. Minimum distance, this is in units uh, uh, to 5 and the maximum to 20. Now what this does is this is how, uh, this is how far you can basically uh, hear the audio in game. So within 5 it's the maximum volume. Uh, and from 5 to 20, it's going to slowly get quieter and quieter the further away that you are. You can fiddle around with uh, you can fiddle around with these values, uh, and this will allow you to kind of um, set how far do you want the NPC to be like uh, be able to be heard clearly. So, say the NPC is shouting, we're going to put the, the minimum to 15, and say the maximum to like 50. Right? He's really yelling really loudly, but normally you don't want to do that. So, we're going to keep it to five keep it to 20 uh, for the tutorial and you can kind of fill that on your own and experiment it once you're done you're gonna then drag the uh what, what you have here in your hierarchy and of course find the folder that you uh, associate with with the settings that you have of course we added the welcome uh, voice line so this object has our uh, welcome voice line source to it i'm going to just drag it in here grab the nav and the clip and we're going to dump it in here once we've got already a a basic um uh <laughs> if i can if i can talk properly once we have uh, our first folder down it's pretty simple to do for the rest we we'll go to the rules and we're just going to click on the objects up here again we're just going to select these unpack the prefab go to the objects and instead uh, just drag the rules voice line to our audio clip and then drag this back in Uh, and then the same thing, we go back to the Discord part. You want to unpack these again because these are sourced from the other folder. Go objects, drag this, put that in there, and then drag these back in like so. And now that we have finished that, we now have three uh, 
three objects uh, that will emit sound. So we now just need to go to window, unturned, bundle tool, and this should come with uh, when you import all of these files. We're just going to select, uh, I guess we're just going to select the welcome, click grab, click bundle. Now I've got this, uh, I'm going to save this in the uh, in the map bundles and then objects folder. I've already got one here for previously from just testing to make sure that it works, but I'm just going to click save again, replace, click on the next folder, which is containing our rules voice line, click bundle and click, uh, click grab and then bundle again, Let's save that. And same thing here, just click grab, click bundle, uh, and click save. Uh, once that's done, we can go to the folder itself where we saved everything. Now, for example's sake, uh, I'm going to use one of the previous um, objects that I created that emit sound. So we're going to go to the tutorial intro. And we're just going to copy, uh, we're actually just going to duplicate this real quick. So just control C, control V. Now don't worry about this. I know that uh, you're missing a few steps here, but that's fine. I'm just gonna call it server introducer underscore welcome. And what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna grab our Unity 3D, put it in there, and we're going to delete the tutorial intro, which was the previous one. And we need to rename this to the same name as this. So if we go rename, control, control C, the dot dat needs to be then uh, like so. If you don't have these files, that's fine. You just need to rename the files like so. Make sure that the dot dat and the dot unity 3D have the exact same name. Once that's done, we're gonna uh, select both of these, right click, open a notepad. Now for the server introducer uh, file, real quick, we need to make sure that uh, we have a GUID in here, so we are quickly just going to uh, simply search GUID generator and it should look like this. I'll put a link in the description. Uncheck hyphens, just click generate some GUIDs. I'm going to copy this and we're going to put it in there and click save. Um, in English, no, sorry, in asset.dat, which is located in our dialogues of the, of the character itself, uh, remember, this is the welcoming message, so we're going to copy the ID of this and paste it in here. Uh, and same thing for here. Now, this is a condition that you'll need to put in your .dat file as well. And I will put this in the description as well for you. Uh, and then within the English, we're just going to name this simply as server introducer underscore welcome. Like so. And that is pretty much what you will need to do. That is, at this point, we are nearly done. We just need to repeat this two more times. So I'm gonna, if you uh, if you didn't follow along uh, too well, that's fine. I will do it one more time. So we will just copy this folder that we've already created, paste it again. We're gonna rename it to uh, rules. Take our server introduce underscore rules unity 3D, put it in there. Delete the uh, previous one. Right click this, rename, control C, right click, rename, control V, enter. Open these two up uh, with notepad. Uh, rules, we need to remove the old GUID. Go back here, drain it a new one, copy that, paste it in here. Go to the asset.dat. Oh, sorry, or the English dot that uh, the rules one is response underscore zero. So we just go down to where the rewards are and the response underscore zero underscore uh, uh, the reward ID is for, uh, for five, seven, uh, eight, one. We go back to the rules. We just need to change the ID like so. And same with the condition as well. Uh, and then for the English dot that just rename that to rules. Uh, and that should be it. I will quickly redo that one more time for the Discord. All right, that should be it. I think we are finished. All we need to do left is just boot up the game and hopefully things should be in working order. Right, now that we are in game, of course, we do need to find uh, our map to edit. So we go to workshop, editor, scroll down to map compound assets because uh, within the files, we did save it under maps and map compound assets. So click edit. 
Hello, Now, of course, when you join the world that already has NPCs that have voice lines in them, they're going to automatically play. Now, uh, if you notice, they don't exactly reach very far. That is the uh, options within Unity that allow us to uh, set how far uh, the audio is. If you remember, we set it to a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 20. So, 20 units is about this far from the NPC. Roughly around here, I'm not sure. And 5 is quite close to him. So, I'm not sure if the units are in meters, but that's kind of what we have observed so far. So, we're going to go to Level, Objects, I'm going to quickly search up our NPC, which is called Life. It was called Life RP Introduction. That's what we named him to. So, place down uh, here. Uh, and that is our NPC. Now, this NPC will not trigger any other uh, any other voice lines, of course. He's only, uh, according to his dialogue file, will only trigger the ones that we specifically said with those IDs. So, if we search up server, uh, if we remember the objects that we made, this is what they should come up as. Now, let's put down the welcome one. And in order to tell whether or not it worked, it should start automatically playing on its own. Hello and welcome to our Life RP server. There we go. Now, of course, this object is invisible, so try not to lose this, as this is purely just an audio source. If you do want to keep track of your uh, of your um, uh, your objects, what you can do is pretty neatly is maybe have like a speaker model attached to it, and then you can, of course, tell which one is which. Uh, I think it might look pretty cool having a speaker next to the NPC that actually emits the sound. But for this sake, we're going to have the NPC itself talk. So, select the NPC, Control-B, do an area select J because we know that we placed it here, and do Control-N to attach it directly to where he is. We're going to do the same for the other two, so we're going to click on Rules, press E. To find the rules, you can do the Command slash Rules, or you can walk behind me and there should be any boards on the bunch of rules listed below. Right, so that was from in-game. Uh, we'll do the same thing here. Control B on the NPC. Uh, should be around here. Here it is. Do Control N. And then same for the Discord. To find the Discord link, do slash Discord in the command chat. Same thing with the NPC. Control B. Uh, find here. Control N. And that should be it. So what we have to do is press Escape, press Save, click Exit. Go to Play. Single player. Find our map. There it is. Map compound objects. Play offline. Now, hello. So, of course, when you join the world, they're all going to play. Now, this is where that option, uh, the once again, that when the audio, when you join the server, the audio will play. You will need to deselect that so that that does not happen. But when you're testing them, uh, you may have it. I would, I, record, I would recommend having enabled so that you can at least tell that things are working. So now we're going to come over to our NPC. Uh, and upon pressing F, he should just immediately start talking to us. Hello and welcome to our Life RP server. Wonderful. If we click on the rules. To find the rules, you can do the command slash rules. Or you can walk behind me and there should be a board sign with a bunch of rules listed below. Hello and welcome to our Life RP server. Yeah, every time. Every time you press F and then Discord link. To find the Discord link, do slash Discord in the command chat. Wonderful. And that is the tutorial on, uh, on how to create talking NPCs. Hopefully this was clear enough. And if you have questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and I'll try to respond and help uh, the best way that I can. But yeah.